loves and welcome back to my channel. My name is Angelique if you are new here and the next two videos on my channel are going to be a bathroom makeover. The first video is going to be organizing the bathroom and the second one is going to be decorating the bathroom. My initial thought was to make it one video but I had too much footage. So lucky you, you get two videos of seeing how the bathroom came together. So needless to say I'm very excited to show you the transformation. It's very exciting. I love organizing so the first one's a lot of fun for me. The second one was even more fun because I got to decorate with towels and hang cute signs and hooks. So without further ado, go ahead and hit that little subscribe button so you guys never miss out on a video I talk about fashion, beauty, and home decor. And now let's go ahead and organize the bathroom. So this is the blue bin that I packed from the apartment. This is full of everything that I, all my beauty products, it's just everything. It's still wrapped up. I haven't unpacked it yet, as you can see. And then I don't know if you guys remember, when my mom was here, we put in these shelving on the back of my front closet, linen closet, this closet. <laughs> Um, so this is where I'm going to be storing all of my beauty products that are like either backups or products that get sent to me. This is now the storage beauty closet. I feel like the best way to go about this is organize it into like skincare products, hair products, and then figure out on the shelf how I want to organize it there. Okay, so I've kind of like semi-organized this into skincare, body care, and like hair care. So now let's look at the rack and see where we want to place things. As you can see, I've kind of already started to fill the racks, so now that I have a better idea of what needs to go on this rack, I can like properly figure out what needs to go where. Okay, so I have decided that this bottom rack is gonna be for like sun care or body care, like body lotions and such. These next two shelves are gonna be hair care, and then I'll figure out the rest, but I'm gonna start there because I have less of those products. So for this top rack, I'm thinking it's just gonna be like random things, like I have some like bath salt soak things and just like extra deodorants. It's just kinda like the miscellaneous rack. So my theory with this rack is to keep like the brands together so that way I can easily find what I'm looking for. So within like the skincare, I'm gonna put like all the La Mer's together, all the um, like Kate Somervilles, the Drunk Elephants, just keep it kinda organized so I know what I'm looking for. Okay, so I have roughly organized my beauty products, and by roughly, I mean like seriously, roughly. I just need to get an idea of like what I have, and I'll probably change it like a million more times. But as of right now, I feel like I can find everything way more convenient, and this closet is so much closer to my bathroom than how my other setup was. So I actually feel like I'll try more products because I'm like, oh, it's right here. I'll just grab another hair product. I'll just try another skincare product. Anyways, I'm really excited for it to be right here and organized. So I'm actually really impressed with how this rack turned out for me. Uh, my mom gave me this idea. It's actually a can holder for like a pantry. Um, so you can put like cans in it, <laughs> obviously. Anyways, she has it in her pantry and I was like, how do I organize my beauty products? And she's like, I got it. I have one in my house. I think it'll work really well. And it honestly does because it's not in anybody's way. It's not on display. It's just, it's just in a closet and I close it. Okay, so I'm still trying to figure out like my little office slash guest room. I haven't even organized that yet. So for the moment, I have my makeup drawers in the actual guest bedroom. So I actually have some new arrivals of makeup. So I'm just gonna quickly put those away and organize that. And then we'll move back into my bathroom. Oh, and guys, I can't even tell you how amazing it feels to have my makeup organized. So before I moved, in case you didn't watch any of the other vlogs, I had tons of drawers because I was, you know, preparing for expansion, <laughs> I guess you can say. Um, so when I moved here and I didn't have as much space, I narrowed everything down, went through my makeup a lot, and before I would just take the PR package and just literally put it into a drawer because I didn't take the time to like fully go through it. So now I'm being a lot more picky with the colors that I keep. I keep a box for friends and things like that. Um, so now I can come in here and be like, I need a lip pencil or, ooh, 
to try this eyeliner. Like I know where everything is and everything makes sense. It just feels so much better to have it organized and be able to come in here and try new things. Yes. On that note, eyeshadow palettes. Okay, so I finished putting all the products on the shelf. I finished putting my makeup away. Now we are moving back into my bathroom and I'm gonna kinda just take a look underneath my shelves and see what I need to go buy from like Target or order from Amazon. So let's go ahead and look underneath the cabinet and see what we're dealing with or what I need to order. I have this rack from the old house. I got it from the container store. So I'm hoping it fits in here because it came in real handy at my last apartment. Yes! Oh my God, amazing. Freaking amazing. Okay, so the last thing we're going to tackle today is what's in this blue bin, which came from our personal bathroom. So it's probably like more like vitamins and band-aids and just stuff that was like in our bathroom. So I'm going to go through that and figure out what to do with all this. Yay. So I lied, I am gonna do one more thing because I forgot I ordered drawer organizers from Amazon. So I wanna see if they work so that way I can order more to finish off this video. Oh wait, I did order two sets. So if they work, I may not have to order any more, yay. So this actually ended up working out perfect. I have all of my toothbrushes and floss. I have Sawyer's, I have just like Neosporin, and I have an empty little guy. I'm sure I'll fill it up back there soon, but then I have like my tweezers and toenail clippers, and then I have my retainer. So it ended up being a lot more organized. Now the fit isn't perfect, but it definitely helps so I can find things in this drawer. So now I'm gonna try to do this drawer, which is supposed to be like my personal skincare drawer. So um, I need to organize this so bad. I have no idea what's in here. These little organizers are by Story, and they have tons of different options on Amazon, so I will link it. So if you guys need drawer organizers, you can find them there. So I'm thinking in this drawer, I'm gonna use more this size because it can go this way, so it can be a little bit more tightly organized. Okay, so it's definitely much better. There is a method to my madness in here. Back here I have sunscreens and self tanners. I have face masks right here. I have all my bigger bottles, which I can obviously tell which is which. I have my face oils and eye oils here. And then I have my serums and acne treatment right here. At least now I can find what I'm looking for in this drawer. Okay, so some of the organization containers finally arrived from Amazon. Um, I ordered something for underneath Sawyer's cabinet. I got one bin for like blow dryers and brushes. I needed something that was a little bit like lower profile so it could slide underneath like the piping under here. I also ordered like a stackable drawer. So there's two drawers. This one's the smaller one and then there is a wider one. So this will fit on the right hand side of his sink. So for products or whatever he wants to use it for. So I'm gonna go ahead and organize it. I'm sure he'll change it to the way he likes it but I'll go ahead and get everything in there for him I like that they're like definitely a decent sized drawer like you can see like bottles can actually fit in there okay so for Sawyer what I ended up doing I put all the brushes and like straighteners and blow dryer here um, I put his razor in the middle so that way he knows exactly where they are I have his colognes right here up front I have his FYI these drawers are a little bit noisy I'm <laughs> figuring out um, but up here I have all of his cords, chargers, razors, um, anything that's like mechanical up in here. Guys have a lot more like shaving tools. Anyways, um, that's all in here, all the blades, everything like that. Like I said, I am gonna have to get some type of organizer or divider for him so that way things just don't fall over. I have all of his hair and skin products down here so he can find them as well. And I say that is much better because everything kind of has a place, has a home, it's stackable, and he can organize it the way he wants. So I will link these organization things down below because these are great ones for any cabinet or underneath the sink. Like I said, I still might order some on my side so that way I can have like hair products and skin products, things like that in drawers. Drawers are nice because you can pull them out. Okay, cool, moving on. So I ordered this shelf in this box from Amazon and I wanted something that I could store stuff in as well as decorate. I like it because it has like three shelves as well as like a little cabinet on the bottom so I can have like extra storage in the bathroom. So let's go ahead and put together another shelf. Yay. 
Okay, I built the shelf for our bathroom. Because now, I will show you guys. I will create in there. Let's go. Okay, so it literally fits like a glove. Like it was like made for this little spot. And I just wanted to be able to have some extra storage down here so I can just, you know, store other things. And then I also wanted to have a spot for like a plant if I want it, or like a basket with products for guests, things like that. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. It looks really good, see? Okay, so my first initial thought is to empty this drawer and actually put like the blow dryer and straightener in here. And this is just more like band-aids and cotton rounds and like girl products. Things that don't need to be in this drawer, it's just more for storage, but you have to have them in the bathroom. So I was thinking of putting it on the bottom shelf in here. And then my plan is to put products that guests are welcome to use. But for now, that empties up a drawer and it's like a good little storage area. All right, and then in this drawer, what I'm gonna put for easy access is our blow dryer and straightener. Um, I keep all my other T3 tools in a different place for like all my hair videos, but the only thing I keep in here for easy accessibility for like Sawyer is his straightener and blow dryer. And isn't it funny? T3 had sent me a black straightener and blow dryer, I don't know, like a year ago. And it's been perfect for boys because they don't feel like they're using like a girl hair dryer. So, let's see, hopefully will that close? Oh, oh no. Okay, so I got it to fit in here. We're going to see if it works because I know Sawyer and sometimes he likes to just like throw things in and I kind of feel like if he has to like worry about how it goes into a drawer, it just may, may not work for convenience. So I'll either put the blow dryer and straightener in here or put the brushes in here and then the only thing underneath the sink are these two items. I'll ask him what he wants. Okay, so I just went through my products and I picked all the good stuff for my guests. And I basically just wanna have everything easily available. So that way when guests are here, they can just open up this cabinet and know that they can use anything in here. Thought it was the easiest way to do it rather than somebody going, hey, do you have face cream? Hey, do you have face wash? Do you have hairspray? It's all here. Now I just had to figure out like what I wanna put on each shelf. And just like that, the bathroom is way more organized than when we moved in. This has been such a process. Literally, this bathroom has taken me months, which is why you are just now seeing this footage. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I organized it. If you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any tips or tricks for organizing a bathroom, I am all ears. So feel free to let me know down in the comments below. But this is not the end of the bathroom transformation. So go ahead and hit that little subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on seeing how I decorate the bathroom and to see the final product. I'm trying to hide as much as I can right now. <laughs> um, but that is it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.